you ever work on a project or, you know, do something for so long that you think, this is easy, anyone can jump in and get started. And then once you take a step back and look at it from a different perspective, you're like, yeah, they're gonna need a nudge in the right direction. Welcome, welcome. My name is Josh. I'm a community manager and one of the lead developers here at Moby Diction. And I'm here today to talk about getting started with Moby Connect. Moby Connect is a platform that is very wide reaching and you can achieve so much with it. So it can be very hard just to know where to get started. So we're going to jump straight in and show you the first couple of things you need to do to get yourself set up. All right, first things first, uh, we need to sign up for an account. If you haven't already, just go through the sign up process here, put in your email, first name, last name, and then confirm your email. Once you've done that, log in. And if you haven't created a project before, it'll take you straight through to create your first one. So your project is where everything is housed, uh, all the features, settings, users, etc. can have multiple projects. Uh, but in this instance, we're just gonna get crack on with setting up. The first one. So we'll just call this something simple, like JL project, project one, that'll work. Continue. And now it'll ask you to select the features for this particular project. So we'll create a documents from rewards one, uh, actually just a documents one with a page builder and segments. Uh, now the difference between bundles and features, just to cover that off, bundles are a collection of features and include some unique features not available in this list. But as you see, when you select and unselect this, it includes multiple of these features and requires multiple of them to work efficiently. So when you select a bundle, it'll pick the features needed. And then of course, on top of that, you can choose the extras that you want. So choose documents and segments and then just continue. Uh, now, because this is my first project, we have a 14 day free trial uh, available to your first project. So you'll see here that it's created the account uh, and the project. This is our project name and our free trial, 14 days left. Uh, and of course, when we want to, we can uh, use the upgrade button there or the select plan on the right hand side to choose uh, what level we want. Uh, there's different levels available uh, depending on obviously what number of storage, if you're using push notifications, number of push notifications and some custom options available if you needed them. Uh, so as you can see on the left hand side menu here, all the features that we selected from both the bundle and uh, the individual one, uh, which was segments, have been added to the side menu. Now, if for example, you've uh, missed a feature and you go up, I need that. You can go up to the settings, which is just on the right hand side here. And in settings, uh, you can add using the edit menu function. Uh, now you can edit a menu for all three levels of users, uh, which is of course owner, yourself, admin, uh, everything but billing rights and users uh, limited uh, to just features that you've included in your project. They can't edit the project itself. Now in the, uh, in terms of items you can add, of course with features, which we just discussed, but you can also add pages and forms that you've designed using our page builder and uh, of course custom links. So if you have a external link that you want included in the side menu, you can use custom links to do that. Uh, and of course, as you add pages and forms, they will show up here so you can add them to the side menu as well. So great if you have a particular form or a particular static page that you want your customers and users to see. Back to settings. Uh, it's pretty much one of the first things you might want to, you know, crack on with uh, when you create your project. Say you wanted to uh, brand it yourself. Obviously, actually, let's start with general. Uh, one of the first things you see here is settings uh, for the alert bar. Now, the alert bar is basically a static bar that sits at the top of the screen, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, which displays a message. Pretty uh, easy to understand. You can put links in there if you wanted to uh, using the WYSIWYG editor here. Uh, but for the sake of example, we'll just say uh, this is our new project and update that. Now, if I was to go back to the get started screen here, which is the first thing you see, you'll say this is our new project, which is the thing that, and of course, users can dismiss that if they want to. Now, going back to settings, making this even more personal and uh, branded to ourselves, go over to the branding tab here. Uh, as you'll see, we've got the 
default Mobi Connect colors, Mobi Connect logo. Uh, now, just to give you an example of how it looks when you update it, you can go in here. Uh, we'll choose the Mobi Diction logo uh, just to change something up. And instead of the red, we'll go with a sort of blue color for the menu and the primary color. And we'll leave the rest the same. And as you see, if I've updated that, it's gone from the Moby Connect to Moby Diction. So of course you can put your own logo there, whatever it might be. And uh, then your colors are updated. When you go back out of your project, so using the all projects button in the top right, you'll see it goes back to Moby Connect. And this screen allows you to go into multiple projects. So if you have two or three different projects or two or diff three different things you're trying to do, so your intranet for your staff, a custom portal for the external side, and a, a CMS for your application. You can have all three available in your account and you can go into each individually and customize them individually with the features that are necessary for that project. Uh, and even its own colors and its own branding, if that's necessary as well. Anyway, back into the project. Uh, as you see, colors nicely loaded, alert bar loaded, fantastic. One thing you might wanna start relying on in each of the features that you're on is on the top right, you'll have the help and what's new section. So this basically pulls in guides on the topic relative to the feature you're on. So obviously we're on the get started page. So this just has the basic how to how do you log in, you know, how do you create up your account. But if I was to go over to users and then click on it again, it'll pull in content relevant to uh, user management. So how do you reset passwords? How do you add users? All that sort of stuff as well. Uh, there's also a what's new tab where we provide new information uh, on features, patch notes, all that sort of stuff that you might wanna keep up to date on and see what's coming. Now, speaking of users, this is of course where you can add other admins for the platform, users that will be using it day to day, you're setting it up for that sort of portal sense. If you use it for the CMS for your application and you have a login management requirement, they will also go in here as well. And it just allows you to manually add and manage those users. So if you click invite user in the top right, you just fill in their first and last name. So I'll just use my middle name there and I'll invite uh, plus one. Uh, you can do that. Click add and wait, and there we go. It's success, user invited. Uh, I should get an email, uh, which will uh, basically allow me to, if I don't have a Moby Connect account, create one. And just like when we go into all projects ourself, we'll then see the project from a user's perspective. Um, or if I already have a Moby Connect account, it'll add another project, this project, to their list of projects. So they could have their own project and obviously have user access or admin access to your project as well, if that makes sense. If I just go into my email quickly and click on confirm, there we go, that's confirmed. And if I go back to users now, you'll see uh, the invite is no longer pending and the login users will be able to start using the platform, whether you're using the APIs or of course, just logging into the platform directly. Now this is a very basic get to started guide on what to do when you first logged in, first created a new project. Of course, there is much, much more uh, to, to do, uh, of course, depending on what your goal is. Now we'll have other guides and other videos to run you through all the different features and bundles that are available in Moby Connect. And I look forward to being on this journey with you and using Moby Connect to its fullest.